Hello students, this is the lecture series on previous year gate questions on the topic of sinusoidal steady state response. The lecture series is brought to you by team of EdMego. So in this lecture we will be looking at the electronics and communication previous year gate questions of sinusoidal steady state response. The topic very important from the subject of network theory. So guys, let's start. So let's start with the question. The first question and uh, this is gate 2019 EC question. A very simple question. The only thing that you have to observe in this circuit is since it is given that all the capacitors are of value 1 microfarad and resistors are of value 1 kilo ohm. So if you look at the circuit then the circuit can be redrawn like this. So this is your this resistance. A capacitance another capacitance a resistance another resistance and a capacitance connected like this okay so it can be redrawn like this so that we can observe something now if you look at this bridge this is a bridge right now if you look at this bridge then it's a, it will be a balanced bridge because what's a balanced bridge i've already told you a balanced bridge in the other lecture series of previous year network theory questions okay so the balance bridge is when R1 into R4 is equal to R2 into R3, then no current will flow through R5. Or if in case if resistance there are impedances, then Z1 into Z4 is equal to Z2 into Z3, and no current through Z5. Okay. So similar is the case here. If you multiply the impedances of these two resistance and capacitance will be equal to the product of the impedances of this capacitance and this resistance. So this is a balanced bridge and thus this capacitance will have no role and zero current will flow through this capacitance and the circuit can be redrawn like this. Okay, so this is the analysis of the circuit. Now, now we have to find the value of current in milliamperes. So we know the value of R is one kilo ohm. Capacitance is 1 microfarad and input Vt is 2 sin 1000 T. So the impedance of R is 1000 ohm. Impedance of C is 1 upon J omega C that is 1 upon when omega is 1000 and C is 1 into 10 to power minus 6 so that is 1000 ohm uh, with a minus j sign. Minus j 1000 ohm. Now, if I redraw the circuit again, then I can see that these two resistances combination are in parallel and two capacitances are in series. 
so it is bt and here the total resistance will be r parallel with 2r that is 2 by 3 And a single capacitor of value C by two because two red capacitances are in series. Now, since B T is two sine one thousand T, it will be written as two angle zero. The current here is I phasor. Okay. The value of resistance will be two thousand divided by three. And the impedance of this capacitance will be z equals to one upon j omega into c by two. That is equal to minus j two thousand ohms. So the current phasor is voltage phasor divided by resistance plus. Voltage phasor divided by the impedance of the capacitance that is minus two thousand ohms. So that is equal to that is equal to three angle zero degree plus J one. Okay, and the whole is in milli amperes. Now. Since zero degree angle is actually corresponding to sine, so I T will be three sine one thousand T plus three sine sorry not three one. So this will be three sine one thousand T plus ninety D. And the whole answer is in milli amperes. So the whole answer is in milliamps. So this will be written as three sine one thousand T plus cos one thousand T milliamps. Okay. So this solves our question number one. So let's move on to the next question. Okay, so we have to find the amplitude of the voltage across capacitance divided by the amplitude of voltage across resistance. Okay, a very simple question. So, voltage across resistance is R, voltage across capacitance is V. Sorry, this will be V R. And this is VC. Okay. Now, VR is equals to I into R, and VC is equals to I upon J omega C. Now, if we are talking about the magnitudes, then magnitude of VR divided by magnitude of We have to find the opposite. So we have to find the BC upon BR magnitudes. So it is omega C upon R. Okay. Now a very important line in this question is the current is in phase with the voltage. Now, when the current is in phase with the supply voltage, then the circuit is at resonance. Since current is in phase with voltage, thus circuit is at resonance. Okay, so this is very important. Now, when the circuit is in resonance, we know that omega equals to one upon root L C. So the answer is one upon root L C multiplied by C by R. Now we know the value of L 
C and R. So we can easily put that. So one upon under root L is five. The capacitance is five. The capacitance is five. R is five. So this will cancel out, and the answer will be one upon five. That is zero point three. So very simple question. Okay. So guys, let's stop here. and uh, we will solve more questions in the next part of the series so thank you and keep sharing and stay tuned